Okay, so today I'm going to talk about something that's actually rather controversial. I'll explain you why. So uh, you've got global themes and global themes are made up of different components, such as the plasma theme, which is actually what uh, styles the plasma part of KDE, which is just this part at the bottom, the uplets, keyrunner um, key as an example, kickoff key as well. This part under here, this is all plasma themes. You also have colors and window decorations, and all of these are actually kind of simple to make. I've done videos about how to make a plasma style. They are all either QML or SVGs, and those do not require a very deep knowledge of coding to actually do. I was able to do them without knowing any C++. However, we've got also application styles, and those are much, 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 much harder to do if you don't know coding really well. And I've never, never been able to contribute in any way to the Breeze application style. The application style actually themes applications, as you might have guessed, and we've got some by default. and. Uh, they are harder to do because they don't actually are, they're not actually QML or SVGs. They are big chunks of, of uh, C++ code that's not particularly ple pleasant to deal with. So there are some projects that try to address this. And one of these, the most known is Kvantu, which is basically taking the application style and saying, okay, it's a big chunk of C++ code, Quantum is C++, but in order to actually draw anything, not a good example I picked, in order to actually draw anything, it's actually going to take some SVGs and draw them on the application, which means that with Quantum, which is a theme, Quantum is going to read from an SVG file to actually draw anything. We can open up Dolphin as an example, and this that you're seeing is an SVG theme and doing SVG is, is, is much easier, which is why you've, you see so many uh, Quantum um, styles compared to C++ styles. So when you install Quantum, how do you install Quantum? I'll talk about that later on. Your favorite app is the Quantum Manager. Now Quantum in itself is a bit controversial because it is a bit hacky, uh, it's rather hacky, uh, but in my opinion, it is worth showcasing because it actually addresses one very big issue that Kitty um, currently has, which is doing themes for application uh, is hard. And that will hopefully change for Kitty Plasma 6 if the theme redesign API will actually land, but who knows. But we've actually got themes and um, these are the default ones, but you can actually find a lot of uh, quantum themes on the KD store, so store.kd.org, and there's an entire sec section of quantum themes. You can also immediately preview the theme that you're going to use. Now let's take Moya as an example, which, which is this one. You can also preview it in a different window which is this one. There is a good selection by default. Yeah, this one feels very gnome -y. What Quantum is most known for are actually uh, transparent themes because Quantum does actually allow to use transparent SVGs and that allows for transparent and blurry um, themes, like this one as an example, but it's a random one. So what I'm going to do now is show you how to download and install a Quantum theme. Let's take this one as an example, because why not? And we should have, sorry, in files, a zip file. So you actually download the zip file. You can download it from third parties as well. And then you extract it to download this fine, done, done. And you can immediately see that if you look into it, it is indeed an SVG and you can even open it and start editing if you want. So that makes it much easier to actually edit. And then you go here and you go to install, select, you select the folder that you've just downloaded, Quantum Gently, okay. 
install and then you just go to change theme and you select the one you just downloaded which is this one you click on use it and you preview it and it works as you can see it is indeed transparent it is also broken looks like all of the colors are messed up so now if you do open apps you can see that they are blurred and uh, transparent and uh, Quantum does have some interesting uh, options here and it is rather interesting that the first sections of the options is literally called hacks and there's like 20 of them that tells you a lot sadly but I mean I've actually used Quantum for a lot and if you like to do theming Quantum is probably your best option if you like doing some third party themes because and uh, sadly, there are just a handful of good uh, C++ Q-style application themes, so you kind of have to use Quantum if you want to customize the applications. I will talk, though, about cool C++ themes. Uh, Performance-wise, uh, you will be some more, somewhat impacted because this is drawing SVGs, which is not as effi efficient as if you were just drawing from C++. However, unless you have a low-end, very low-end computer, you shouldn't notice a significant difference. However, if you are on a Pinebook, don't, <laughs> don't do this. How do we actually install Quantum? Well, it is not very nicely packaged. Uh, I had to compile it and I would suggest you also compile it. If you go to the browser, you search for Quantum, which is rather easy. You take this one. Okay, so the repo is missing the infos, but if you search how to install Quantum, there will be an article from this, this one as an example that actually gives you all the commands to copy paste to actually build it. It's not particularly big, so you shouldn't have any issue. And if you want to do your own theme, that should be easy too, because it's, the, it's just installing Kvan, um, Inkscape, sorry and open up, opening up the Kvantu theme with Inkscape and you can just start editing. Just keep in mind that every element, like this one as an example, will have a name. As an example, here you have this SVG, which is this rectangle, which is called button pressed left. And this, all of these things are drawn based on these names of, of the SVGs. So if you're changing all of the SVGs, just remember that the names should remain of the elements that you actually want drawn. This is just like doing a plasma theme. So if you know how to do a plasma theme, you can do this. If you don't know how to do a plasma theme, I've done videos about that, so you can check them out. And you can even do this. I mean, you can also do something that's not broken. You also have color files, but uh, you got what I meant. <laughs> so what do you think? Do, do you like this? Would you use it? Oh, and by the way, a lot of thanks to all of the people that actually support these videos because I don't have like sponsors or things like that. So actually having patrons is uh, necessary and super helpful. So if you want me to do videos, uh, you can have the links to the donations in the video descriptions and on my right, which is your left. And uh, you can go there and it's donations to me supporting my channel and what I do in uh, KDE, such as floating panels. So that helps a lot. The animation is still broken. So if you don't see your name, don't worry, it will get there. Sorry about that. See you tomorrow.